Hi there, my name is Micheline Heine from Parallax Art Fair TV, where we bring you the latest news and information about London's most popular fair for artists and designers. If you're new here, click on the subscribe button and you can also follow the link for more information about Parallax in the description box below. <laughs> did you first decide to work in the arts? I guess it came from my photographic uh, experiences. Um, I, I used to do a lot of photography with the contrature and uh, colours in nature and this is when I had my photographic exhibition in the Highgate Gallery and I enjoy taking photographs and I am a frustrated painter I guess so I use a camera to uh, do the paintings I want to do and I've always been interested in um, the Matisse and people like that, the Impressionists. So I do a lot of photography which is images in water, reflections. And uh, these persuaded me to go ahead and start creating these new images which are sort of semi-pop, semi-impressionist. How do you feel, like what I know about you, you've worked a bit in IT, you've got, yes. been a managing director yes. of a consulting company. Yes. Do you think that's at all impacted your work? It certainly has, certainly the IT. Um, when I was in IT, uh, and even now, I take photographs for my travels, and I've travelled quite a lot in the world, and I've been taking photographs for all 40, 50 years, I guess, more than that, maybe. When I semi-retired from being a, a consultant, a managing director, uh, I decided to combine IT and my photography together, because I could manipulate images using my IT, Every year I take photographs, I think of new ideas, take images from those photographs, use IT, recolour, and then have them printed on brushed aluminium or canvas. And these are the ones that are hanging in parallax at the moment. Is it a long process? Uh, the process is long because I have to think of what I need to produce. The actual IT and getting the images from the digital photographs is not too long. Uh, but it's the thought process that goes into getting the final image getting the right colour balance, and also giving a name to it. I try and give funny names if I can, but it's not always possible. Do you feel the exhibit at the Highgate Gallery was your first big break? It, yes, it was. It was uh, quite something. They, they were sort of prints then. It wasn't created by IT. And I had them printed and framed them and got them hung up. And uh, it was nice to be accepted by a gallery. I mean, it's like when someone buys your picture, um, you feel good. You know, because you realise someone else likes what you've done. Yes. I do my art for myself. Everything I do, I like. Uh, don't ask me which I prefer, which is my <laughs> best one. Uh, but um, uh, it's a great feeling when someone actually purchases or even says, yeah, you can hang your picture in this gallery. Do you think there's a, a huge difference between exhibiting at a gallery and at an international fair? Um, at the galleries, um, they put it up for you, so you don't have to put the things up, which is nice, but you don't have to be there. There's always someone there. Uh, so it's a very different feeling. You know, I go to the preview night and see people coming, but they're not the real clientele because they're invited specifically. So if I'm not there, I don't actually see the people coming into the gallery. Obviously, a gallery is different to a fair because people are not necessarily going to galleries, but I think people specifically come to fairs. It's very well publicised. And I've always been impressed by the footfall that Parallax brings in. How did you first hear about Parallax Art Fair? Well, that was interesting. I was in London with my wife, walking around Chelsea, and there it was in Chelsea Town Hall. And we said, let's go in, have a look. And uh, she said to me, you know, Brian, you could do something with your stuff. Why don't you exhibit at one of these exhibitions? And that's what I did. I decided to apply got accepted, and the first one was at Chelsea. Has your work and approach of displaying your work changed over the years? Um, yes, I've actually cut down on the amount of stuff I bring now. Um, and I actually have a little tablet uh, PC which shows all the art uh, in, in a slideshow. I like to think people look at it, I have heard comments, oh, that's nice, that's nice. So they see my, uh, I do a lot of different stuff. If you look at my images, they're all very, very different. So I like to show off my whole range, and I can't physically bring them here. 
So uh, I have a few hanging here and the rest I have on this uh, PC. And every year or, or for every new parallax, I create something new. Is that specifically for parallax? Well, it's nice to know that I'm going to be exhibiting new stuff. And I think it's good to refresh me and get some new ideas. So I'll go from this parallax and think, I'll probably come back in July. And I'm thinking, um, I need a few more things to know. I've got to get some ideas. And that's nice because it drives me forward. Did the, you find the handbook and the videos quite helpful? Obviously, having come so many times, I don't look at the handbook anymore. I'm, I'm an old boy, I know my way around. And I know the rules and regulations by now. <laughs> having slapped, been slapped over my hand a few times. Um, so I know the rules and regulations. But yes, I mean, obviously the guidance is very, very important. And I think people coming for the first time should understand that although it's a show and people are coming to watch, in the end, you want to sell. And it is about selling. And you've got to know how to talk to the people and negotiate with the people and sort of get a feeling for what they want and not push something that you might want to push. What top two tips would you give any exhibitors? Having a business card is quite important. I'm not sure about other brochures, but, but I think a business a good business card. And being the right person, dressing well, looking good, having a chat with the people, being customer friendly. You know, a lot of tips in the book that uh, you send out about how to sort of deal with people. Because it is a selling thing, whether you like it or not. Uh, my art means something to me, but you're trying to sell it as well. That's wonderful advice. Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. Hi, I'm Micheline Heine from Parallax Art Fair TV. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and tick the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave us a comment. And for more information about Parallax Art Fair, look at the description box below. Until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you.